Hey guys, it's Saleh. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Jesse on a brand new Ubuntu machine. Now, we already supported the Docker setup, but that won't give you the maximum speed. However, a setup like this is going to take advantage of the most resources that your machine has, which could be really handy when you're doing backtests or running an optimization session. Now, it's important to note that if you are going to set up Jesse on a VPS for doing live trading in production, then I highly recommend actually going with the Docker setup, because that one is much easier to maintain, and the extra speed that I'm talking about the native installation in this video can't really be felt in a live trading session so with that out of the way let's get right into the video all right first we're gonna have to install python itself. however instead of installing python directly i'm gonna use this tool called miniconda which is really great for doing research because it gives us isolated environments which are similar to python environments but way better and more isolated it also allows us to select the python version that you want to use which is really handy because let's say you want to use one python version for jesse and another library that you want to use i just simply googled download miniconda so let's open it all right go to this url skip registration now this one is for anaconda which will give us some graphical user interface which isn't what i need so i will scroll down to get to the miniconda installer now from here you need to choose the correct installer for your machine now for most of you guys are running an x86 machine so you need to download this one but in my case i had to download the arm version because i'm running my ubuntu through the virtualization on a mac machine it's also important to note that if your machine is arm at the moment of recording this video you can set up jesse on it at least for doing research but we don't officially support it so if you are getting a machine or if you are setting up a server or whatever i highly recommend going with the x86 version now i already downloaded it so i'm just gonna cd into the directory that i have it so firstly open a terminal all right so i'm gonna run cd and then pwd because i want to see where i am all right the ls right now cd into the downloads folder and there is the file that I downloaded. Now, to run this, I'm going to simply say bash and then miniconda. Let's press enter. Let's scroll down. Right, yes. It says press enter to confirm the location. All right, so I'm getting this error because I ran this before. So it says I need to add the dash U option to update. All right. All right, so now it's, it's asking me if I want to update my shell profile to automatically initial conda, and I do want that. So I'm gonna write yes. All right, just to be sure, let's open a new terminal tab and I'm gonna run the conda command here and it still recognizes it, which is a good sign. Now, we need to create our very first environment for Jesse. To do that, I'm gonna say conda create dash dash name and I'm gonna give it a name such as Jesse. This could be anything, by the way. And then I'm gonna pass the Python version to be 3.12. All right, so it's asking for confirmation, press enter. Now we're gonna to have to wait to download the Python version that we asked for. All right, we're done. Now to activate our environment, all we need to do is to say conda activate Jesse. Now, before I press enter, notice that in here it's saying base, but after I press enter, it says Jesse. And that's how I know that my environment have been activated. And if I run, let's say pip dash dash version, I can see the name of the environment, which is Jesse. All right, now that we have Python, we can install Jesse itself. All right, so to install Jesse itself, all I need to say is pip install Jesse. All right, now Jesse itself is installed and we can even go and create the Jesse project. So for that, I'm gonna go to my home directory and let's see what I have here. Okay, and to create a Jesse project, I need to fetch it from GitHub. So let's open our documentation and go to the installation page to create a new Jesse project. I'm going to copy this line here, open my terminal and paste the command here. Now this will fetch a project and name it my bot. And you could rename this to whatever you want, by the way. Now I'm going to go into my bot. All right. Next, I will create an environment file by copying it from the example file. So I'm going to say cp.env.example. 
and then .mv. All right, now let's open the project file. Now to do that, you're gonna need a code editor. I already downloaded VS Code, which is completely free and open source and a really good option for this. All right, so I'm gonna go to open folder and I will select my project and press open. I will say yes, I trust this project. And here's the .mv file. Now here you can see that we need a PostgreSQL database and also Redis for a caching database. So we also need to install these two. For that, I'm going to go back to our documentation. I will go to the environment setup, Ubuntu. I will scroll down to come to the PostgreSQL. Now let's copy this line, open the terminal and paste it here. It is asking for my password. I will give it. We'll say yes. All right, that is done. Now I need to copy these commands in order to create a database for Jesse and a user and assign that user to that table. All right, next I need to copy these lines one by one and paste it into the terminal to generate my first database table user and assign that user to that table. I'm going to speed the video so that it won't bore you. All right, now the database is ready and we can move on to install Redis. So let's copy this command and paste it here sudo apt get install ready server say yes all right now we don't need to generate like a table for redis and all the default values are fine all right so now we're ready to run jesse but before i do that i will go to the visual studio code and you see this value here by as it says in the comment by default this is set to work with the docker installation but we are running things natively so i need to comment this line and comment out this other line which sets the Postgres host into localhost. And I also need to do the same for Redis. Now, by the way, if you own a premium account and you want to log in so that the premium features would show up, you also need to generate an API key from this address on our website and paste that value here. Also, the password that you set here is the one used inside the dashboard. So that's also important. We can change the default port if we need to, but I'm not going to. All right. So Let's go to the terminal and while I'm inside my Jesse project, so see, this is the directory of my Jesse project and these are the files inside it. So while I'm here and while this conda environment is selected, so this is also really important. So if you don't see the name of the environment here, you need to activate it again by running conda activate and then the name of the environment, which in our case was Jesse. But I don't need to do that because it is already activated. While this is the case, simply run Jesse, run. And that's it. Now we need to open this address in order to open the dashboard. So let's go to the browser and say localhost 9000. It's asking for a password, which as I mentioned by default is test. All right, we're in. Now let's go to the import candles page, increase this and see if it can import successfully and there we go it can all right so we're done now but i'm going to show you one more tip which will be really helpful when you are doing research so in the vs code if i go to the strategies folder and open an example strategy and try to write my first code let's say ta dot you will see i don't get autocomplete here because my code editor doesn't know about my python installation or jesse installation and i want that now the vs code itself is actually recommending to me to install the python extension and that's what we need but in case you don't see this that's fine just simply go to the extensions here and search the word python all right so this first one which is published by microsoft is the one we want click install all right now that it is done if I go back to my strategy again and, and remove this and press the dot one more time, still I don't get anything. Now, this time though, the reason is, yes, the VS Code does recognize Python now, but it doesn't recognize the conda environment that we installed Jesse package in it. So for that, we need to go to here and select the Jesse environment. All right, now if I remove this one more time and press the dot button, I can see the complete list of the indicators that Jesse offers. So for example, I can just select Bollinger Bands. Not only that, if I write a parenthesis, you can see I will get the accepted parameters of this function, which is really helpful because I don't have to open the documentation all the time to see which parameters this function accepts. All right, that's it. Now, of course, you could install all types of plugins on your VS Code, which will make things easier. For example, I really recommend installing GitHub 
Copilot, which at this point offers even a generous free plan and it could make your research sessions much faster. All right, that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.